What's up, everyone? Decided to, uh, wasn't planning on playing the third quarter of this game tonight, but I decided, what the heck? You know, it's Sunday night. It's about 7 o'clock Eastern. I just recorded my, my writer's podcast that I record every, every week with a buddy of mine who lives down in Baton Rouge. Posted that and thought, well, we did it early. I still got some time to kill before I'm going to sit down on my couch and veg out until I go to bed. And I'd like to get this game done at some point in the next couple days just because, well, I'd like to start the next one, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and play the third quarter. Um, I am having a really hard time right now remembering. I got two injuries over here. I got Ray Barry and I got of the Vikings, and I have Jim Morrissey of the Bears. And for the life of me, I can't remember when they come back. I'm pretty sure, I'm just going to do this. I'm pretty sure Ray Barry comes back now. Uh, he was going to be a linebacker, so we put him back in the linebacker spot. And if I got that wrong, well, I mean, I got that wrong. What are you going to do? What's going to happen? The world going to end? No, I got it wrong. Who cares? So, so that's going to take um, it's going to take Minnesota back to a plus three on defense. And I'm pretty sure the Bears guy comes back after the third quarter. So I think he was out for a quarter plus another when he got hurt in the second quarter. I think. That's where my memory is, so that's what we're going to go with. All right, so we're going to start here with a Minnesota kickoff. They are down 13 to nothing as we enter the third quarter, and they are kicking off. I am going to go ahead, as I talked about in the last video many times, I believe I did this in week one, too. I'm going to bring Tommy Kramer in to be the quarterback for Minnesota because Wade Wilson is just not getting it done. He looks like a... He looks like one of those rookies who goes out there. Like I remember when the Browns last year had to start Dorian Thomas and Robinson against the Ravens. I was on my way home from golf and I heard that Deshaun Watson wasn't starting. So I got home, I came home and immediately put a lot of money on the Ravens, which I did win. Um, but it's the kind of line where you'll see like, you know, oh, he was 11 of 19 for, you know, 56 yards. Like you, you just don't throw anything deep. And right now it looks like Wade Wilson is 12 of 21. For 76 yards. He's gotten him down inside the 20 a couple times. But I think they've either missed field goals or turned it over. It's just, it's not good right now for the Vikings. So we're going to go ahead and try to make a change. We're going to put Tommy Kramer in. at the at, When this game would have been on, Tommy Kramer would have been 34. So he's on the downside of his career. But I remember, I think I had some of his football cards. Like his 82, 83, 84 football cards. So it seems like the best thing to do here. If you're wondering what's on my TV. Uh, it is not the A-Team, which is what's usually on. It's actually The Empire Strikes Back. Um, you know, one of the greatest movies of all time. And I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so I'm okay with this. So let's go ahead and get the kickoff going here. Minnesota will kick off, so it's going to be Rich Carlos, ex-Denver Bronco. And we got a 25. 25 is a 39. I can't be right. Is it right? 25 column yeah 39 and that's going to be ooh, 69 yards oh my god bill and ted would be so proud that is four yards deep into the end zone and i think i'm going to roll to see if it's going to come out so we're going to go here continue what i usually do here is one to ten it's a 50 50 shot if it's at the goal line and then i add a i add a, a touchback well, how do i say this one to ten is going to be a touchback since it's four yards deep, I'm going to make it one to 14 as a touchback. And then 15 to 20, he runs it out. Oh, it's a 10. I mean, telling you, every time I do that, it always, it almost always turns out to be. Can you say every time I do that, it almost always turns out? Isn't that kind of, never mind. Turns out to be a touchback. So here we go. So we're going to go uh, Dennis Gentry. Zero does not return it. All right. It's going to be first and 10 on the 20 now for the Bears. Up 13, nothing. Mike Tomzak in the game for them at quarterback. He's been really good. So let us go with our standard offense. Our standard offense is going to be one through five inside run, six through 10 outside run. 11 to 16 is a pass. 17, 18, 19 is a medium pass. Uh, 11 to 16 is a short pass. 17, 18, 19 is a medium pass and 20 is a long pass. And we have a four. We have an outside run something or an inside run, something we didn't see much of. In the first half, we get to do it here. 
and 61 and 24 is going to be neil anderson again he's 11 to 40 something yeah 11 to 45 so 25 is neil anderson 61 is a bs and let's get the roll here first play neil anderson 26 is a 24 and that's going to be good for three yards and that's going to make it second down and seven on the 23. And we'll stick with a standard offense. And we have another inside run. Okay, the Bears mixing it up a little bit. I mean, they have 36 plays and 24 of them are passes. So, you know, the dice usually do even out over time. It's basically how casinos stay in business. So uh, let's see if we can get runs to catch up with passes here. Uh, 35, 65. Oh, it's, uh, Matt Suey. Matt Suey, the fullback. Backup fullback comes in to run the ball. 35 is a CS. All right, Matt Suey up the middle. 61 is 22. And that's going to be good for a yard. So not, not much going here for the Bears in their running game. Maybe they should keep passing it. It's going to make it third down and six now on the 24. And we're going to go short pass heavy here. Short pass heavy is 1 through 12 is short pass. 13 and 19 is a medium. 20 is long. And that's going to be a short pass. Oh, look at all those sixes. Oh, Minnesota's ready for that short pass. 65. 65 is, oh, guy by the name of Cap Boso. I think I had a football card of his. I only remember because it was such a strange name. He's the he's a backup tight end, Cap Boso. He's also a C. So uh, that's not going to be good for them. 66 is a CD. It was a C anyway. So it's a CD. Minnesota going to try to make it tough for them to complete a pass. 62 is not good. That's an 18. And that is very much incomplete. And that's going to bring up fourth down. And much like in the first half, we have a lot of three and out. We have our first three and out, which I hope isn't a lot of three and outs. 15. All right. Chicago is going to punt. We're going to bring out Maury Buford. 15. Six. Oh, okay. That's going to go 40 yards, and it's going to be taken by Mark Green, our primary punt returner. Buford, 40. Whoops. Uh, Mark Green. Oh, wait. What happened here? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. My brain went crazy there for a minute. Maury Buford. That's what I was looking for. 40 yards. And it's going to be taken by, not Mark Green, by uh, Leo Lewis of um, Minnesota. And, oh, there's your four. Boy, we had a lot of those penalties in the first half. 54 for Leo Lewis is 35. No, it's 36. And that is going to be three yards, but we do have a TQ. Let's roll for the penalty, 62. Eight. That's going to be illegal block from the uh, the possession line. So, so it was three yards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did before. So we're going to roll. Ooh, we'll roll one die, and if it's greater than three, it's three, and it's a three. So it's going to be from that spot. So he's going to get three yards on the return. I don't think this is how they do it in real life. But I kind of like this because I like stats. So this is how we're going to go 15 seconds. Then we're going to call a 10-yard penalty on Minnesota. And there's not going to be a first down marker involved. It's going to be an illegal block. We'll call it clipping. And that is no time off the clock because it was part of the last play. It's going to make Minnesota first and 10 now on their own 29, down 13-0. 
trying to get back in the game, and we've got Tommy Kramer now, so should be good to go. All right, so we're going to standard offense. Another inside run. Ooh, the inside runs are coming in quick here. Thirty-two. That is going to be Rick Fenny, right? Thirty-two is indeed Rick Fenny. Thirty-one is CS. So Rick Fenny's going to run up the middle. Forty-one. Oh, 25. That's going to be zero. So not not much going on on the offensive side of the ball here yet for these teams. Second down and ten. Let's go short pass heavy. Let's get Tommy Kramer involved in the game. And we have a seventeen. Oh, he's going to go medium. All right, 63 is not going to help him much. 34 is a CS. I'm going to make it a CD. 63. That is someone by the name of Daryl Ingram. And Daryl Ingram is... Who is Daryl Ingram? He is a... Oh, he's the Cat Boso of Minnesota. He's a backup tight end. He's also a C. And in case you're curious about him, he went to the University of California. So there you go. All right, so we're going to go CD. We got uh, Tommy Kramer to Daryl Ingram. Oh, a 44. Oh, Tommy Kramer is going to complete his first pass. Six. And he's going to complete it for 14 yards. Oh, look at that. I love when, when decisions pay off like that. Yeah, I know it was the dice roll. <laughs> All right, first and 10 now on the 43 for Minnesota. And we're going to go back to our standard offense. And it's a 10. We got an outside run. All right, 41 is going to be Rick Fenny. And 41, ooh, 41, 41 is an AS. Oh, no, 34. That's a 35. And that's going to be a seven-yard run by Rick Fenny, but we do have a penalty on the play. So let's roll for the penalty. 45. And that is going to be encroachment on the defense. This is a tough one. I can make it first and five or second and three. I think I'm going to make it second and three. I don't know. I think in real life they would actually make it first and five. The coaches would take the extra down. But I'm going to go ahead and take the take the run instead because I want Rick Fenny to have stats. So that's going to make it second down and three. Now let's go short yardage on this. Let's go with like a little short yardage run with the idea of a play action pass and play. And it is going to be an inside run. Chicago is going to stack the box a little bit because they saw the run. They saw the big run formation come in. 42. That's going to be Rick Fenny again. 36 against a run is going to be a BS. We're going to make it a BG. Chicago playing their old, uh, what was that defense? The 46? I don't know if they're still playing in 89 or not, but uh, yeah, here we go. All right, Rick Fenny up the middle. Oh, 32. That's going to lose yards. 26. Actually, it's going to get stood up at the line of scrimmage for a gain of zero. And uh, now maybe I'm thinking I should have taken the penalty because it's third down and three. Third down and three right on the 50-yard line. So we're going to go short pass heavy. Oh, and we're going to get a medium pass. That is not ideal. Unless it's completed and then it's ideal. All right, 52. Oh, look at that. Another. I, I have rolled so many 66s and 11s on defense in this game. It's unbelievable. No wonder it's a, a low scoring game with a lot of punts. So 11 for a minus four is going to be a BD. It really isn't great for an 11. Um, 52 is who? 52 is Alan Rice. He's a C, so we'll make it a CD. We'll make it that much tougher for Tommy Kramer, but here we go. Oh no, 54. It's a 36. 
That is that is 23 yards with a penalty and an injury. So here we go. Let's roll for the penalty first. 22. That'll be on the defense. 20. That's gonna be that's gonna be pass interference. That's gonna be a 23-yard pass interference play. Again, the pass interference always overrules a completed pass and becomes a penalty. So that's going to be a 23-yard pass interference play on the defense. Uh, there it is. And let's check the injury. Again, odd numbers are offense. And it is an odd number, so it's going to be someone on the offense. I hope it's not Tommy Kramer. I'll be so sad. Eight. Oh, it's not going to be. I don't think it's going to be Kramer. Eight is... Oh, 11. Well, that's that's Herschel Walker's number, and he's not in the game yet. So let's re-roll. A seven. Oh, it's a damn craps number again. That's going to be 09. That's going to be... Uh, oh, no, that's going to be Rick Fenny. Oh, no. He's a J2, so he could miss some time here. 30, or eight for Rick Fenny is remainder. He's out for the rest of the game. And a J2, what can they do? Oh, yeah, can't be hurt for more than a balance of a half. So Rick Fenny, they're losing their primary running back here. That's not good for them. And he's out for the rest of the game. We don't have another three to bring in. No, we don't have another three to bring in. So that's going to make DJ Dozier and Alan Rice our primary running backs here. We've got Alfred Anderson and Jesse. Uh, the, the, the player, not the song Clark as our fullbacks. This is not good offense for them. And this is going to make the bears go from minus four back to minus three. And put that there. And I believe when this guy comes back, they'll go back to minus two. Okay. They'll go to minus two. All right, so there we are. Wow, that's a big injury, too. Holy cow. So Rick Fenny goes down for the rest of the game. All right. They make it first and seven now on the 27. They cart Fenny off the field or help him off the field, whatever. I swear, my dog will lay up in the front on the chair and sleep and sleep until I get up and come back here and want to record. And then he immediately wants to go outside and bark at everything that's possible. I'm going to play the rest of this game with my. My or the rest of this video with my door open and hope my neighbors don't look in and wonder what the heck's going on. It's very strange. I don't know if I can, if we can see it with the camera or not. See, there's the, there's the door halfway open and the neighbor's house is right next door. So yeah, so we're just going to leave it like that. All right, Dice Kim's back to line up. All right, so here we go. First and 10 now for the Vikings on the 27. We're going to go back to standard offense. We've lost long pass, so we're going to move medium pass to 18, 19, 20. We're going to move short pass to 11 to 17. And we've got a 14. That's going to be a, I already forgot, a short pass. Don't get old, people. The memory goes. All right. 45. And 53. Where'd you go? Five. There you are. All right. 53 is going to be a BS. And 45. Oh, that's going to be Anthony Carter. He's an A. So we're going to move it to AS. So we got, now we got Kramer to Carter. AS. We'll go ahead and roll. 25, that is a 7. Oh, and Tommy Kramer hits Anthony Carter for 10 yards. 2 for 2 for Tommy Kramer. I hope I didn't put Wade Wilson in on the last one. I may have done that. Uh, Kramer, where are you at? I'm sorry, uh, Anthony Carter, where are you at? There you are. So that's going to be good for 10. And it's going to be first down and 10 now on the 17. What's my stat going to be? I'm, I got a banner up here. Minnesota Vikings. Oh, red zone stats. They're not good. Three times in the red zone, zero points, zero touchdowns. It's not good. Not good at all. But maybe Tommy Kramer, he can fix all that. So, 
First and 10 now in the 17. Let's go, uh, let's go standard offense. Oh, we're gonna go medium pass. Oh, I still have medium pass. Medium pass is from the 15 to the 30. All right. Oh, it's gonna be, so it's gonna be Rick Fenny and he's out of the game. So I'm gonna re-roll. Jeez, I don't have Rick Fenny or Herschel Walker now. 35, that's gonna be Anthony Carter. That's an A. 45 is BS. We're gonna make it AS. Here we go. We got Fen a Kramer to Carter. 63, oh no, 31. Oh, it's incomplete, but we have a penalty on the field. 32. And it's going to be... Oh, no. Oh, Minnesota. It's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. That is a 15-yard penalty. Oh, Minnesota, man. They just keep just shooting themselves in the foot. That's going to be 15 seconds. It's going to make it first down and 25 all the way back to the 32-yard line. And we'll start off with, um, let's see, first and 25. What's the best way to get a few yards? Sorry, I have, to, I have to readjust dice cam. It's just something was wrong here. Oh, there you go. There we go. All right, there we go. Okay. Uh, first and 25. Let's just go standard offense here and just see what we can get. All right, we're going to go inside run. Don't have any running backs left. It's going to have to be bigger than 44, or I'm going to have to re-roll over and over. So that's not bigger than 44, so we'll re-roll. 63 is our defense. There we go, 61. 61 is DJ Dozier, so he'll run the ball here. Uh, 63 is a BD. All right, DJ Dozier up the middle. Oh, a 56. That's going to be a 25, and that's going to be zero. And I'll tell you what, Minnesota's going to have to start passing the ball a lot now. Uh, just lose, not having this running back. Second and 25. Let's go short pass heavy. And it is a short pass. All right, 35. Oh, a little palindrome action, 35-53. 35 is Anthony Carter again. He's getting all the targets now. 53 is BS. We're going to make it an AD. All right, you got Kramer to Carter. Oh, 56, 18. And that's going to be incomplete. That's going to bring up third down and 25. And we're going to go medium pass heavy here. Oh, and it's going to be a short pass. See if they can get in position for maybe Rich Carlos. We put him, at least get him on the board. It's not going to help him much. 33. That's going to be the tight end, Steve Jordan. He's a B. 12 is a CG. We're going to make it a CS. All right, you got Kramer to Jordan. 15, that's a seven. And that's going to be six yards, and he's going to get out of bounds. It's going to make the field goal try a little bit shorter. All right, so let's go ahead and try this field goal. I'm, I'm half tempted not even to check to see if Rich Carlos can make this because it's only 42, 43 yards. I mean, he should be able to make this. Oh, no. My dog now has a toy. You might be hearing it squeak as I'm talking. I mean, what are you going to do? All right. Um, let's see. So Rich Carlos is going to try a 43-yard field goal. A 46. It's a 19. And it is good. So Minnesota gets on the board. Tommy Kramer takes him down the field. 
can't help that one of his players had an unsportsmanlike conduct. But he does get him on the board, making it 13 to 3 Chicago. Nine, nine and a half to go in the third quarter. And let's kick off. 24. That is 64 yards, so it's going to be taken at the one-yard line. By uh, Dennis Gentry. 21 is not good. 12. Yeah, 12. That's going to be good for 17 yards. And that's going to put the Bears first and 10 now on their own 18 yard line. And we'll go standard offense here. Eighteen. Oh, Tom Zach, medium pass attempt. Before 53, 53 is Dennis McKinnon. He's a B. 54 is AG. Oh. Oh, AG is not good for the defense. Tom Zach's licking his lips here as he looks for, for Dennis McKinnon. So here we go. And it's a 33. Oh, this is huge. Three. That's going to be 39 yards and out of bounds. Tom Zach hits McKinnon for 39. I mean, you could just see it lining up with that AG, which is A for the offense and G is a rush defense. And and uh, then you roll a 33. Mike Tom, Zach of the Bears, has 225 yards on 14 completions. Yeah. Not bad considering they have eight yards rushing. With Neil Anderson, a halfback four. That's funny. All right, so let's go ahead and go standard offense. That's an outside run. Twenty-three is Neely Anderson. Fourteen is a B D. All right, here we go. Twelve. Twelve is not good. Twelve is twenty-six. Twenty-six is stacked up with the line of scrimmage for no gain. Neely Anderson's he's having a bad game. I mean, Minnesota's got a plus three defense, which is pretty good. But uh, he's having a rough game. For as good as Tom's act's playing, he's playing really bad. Uh, Anderson's playing really bad. Second and 10. Let's go short pass heavy here. And it is going to be a short pass. Another 11 on defense. Oh, that's the offense. Okay, Neely Anderson's an 11. 65 is a BS. All right, Neil Anderson, right? Oh, no, this is a short pass play. My bad. 65 is still a BS. 11 is going to be Neil Anderson. Okay, he's an A. So we're going to make it an AS. So we got Tom Zach to Neil Anderson. 22 for Tom Zach. Holy cow, that's a four. And that's going to go 19 yards, and he is going to get out of bounds. And Mike Tomzak just looks like an all-pro against this Minnesota plus three defense. Uh, Anderson, how much was it, 13? No, 19, right? 22 is a four? Yep, 19. All right, first and 10 now on the 24-yard line. Minnesota's 24 for... Uh, for the Bears, let's see. I don't really have a run-heavy offense. I guess I have my short yardage play. But uh, let's go Let's go short pass heavy here. Uh, Tom Zach's playing well enough to maybe get him in the end zone. So that's going to be a short pass. Oh, anytime I have a leaner, I reroll. All right, so we got a 33 for the defense. 15, is that Neil Anderson again? 
Yes, it is. And he's an A. 33 is a CD. We'll make it a BD. All right. Um, Tom's act to Anderson. 51. It's a nine. And he's going to go four yards and get out of bounds. I'll tell you what, I know that Tom Zach's having a, or Neil Anderson's having a bad rushing day, but I think he's having a great receiving day. I know he's got the, the one of the touchdowns for the Bears, a receiving touchdown. Okay, let's see. So the Bears have been in the red zone three times. They have seven points. They have one touchdown. Much the Vikings are now, I think, 0 for 4. Whew, bad. All right, so it's going to be second down and six. Let's go with the short yardage run play here and see what we can do. And it's going to be an outside run. Another good defense. And Neil Anderson again. 55 is a B. Well, is a B. Why is 55 a BG? Why is it an AG? Okay, BG. Or a CG, I mean. BG it is. All right, so we got Neil Anderson down the outside. Oh, and 11, it's a K column. Did he just get in the end zone? 31, and that is a 15. Wow. That good defense. It's only seven yards, seven yards out of bounds. But Neil Anderson keeps running out of bounds when he has the ball, but he also keeps getting first downs. So it's first and 10 now in the Minnesota 13. I'm surprised that wasn't a touchdown. All right, first and ten on the thirteen for the Bears. Let's go. Um, let's go standard offense here. We don't we don't have medium or long pass, so any pass play is gonna be a short pass. But that is gonna be an inside run. Neil Anderson again. He's a man of the hour on this drive. 45 is a BS. All right, Anderson. 61, 20. And he's going to pick up two yards on this play. Run, Anderson, two. He didn't go out of bounds that time, though. So it's going to be second down and eight now on the 11. Let's go short pass heavy here. And that will be a short pass. See if we can give Anderson a break. He's getting tired. Twenty. Twenty-one. Oh, it's Brad Muster. He's a B on short passes. Where's he at? He's our fullback. He's under here. And 42 on the defense is a CS. We'll make it a CD. All right. Tom Zach the muster. 24. 17. And that is very much incomplete. And that's going to bring up, I believe, third down. Yeah, third and eight on the 11. Let's go short pass heavy, and that means just call a short pass. I mean, I can roll if you want. All right, there's your short pass. That's all I have. That's my only option here. 25. That is going to be Ronnie Morris. He's a B. He's right there. He's a, he's a wide receiver for the Bears. He's an EB3. Not bad. He's a B3. Okay. Not terrible. They have all these guys like Dennis McKinnon and Dennis Gentry and uh, Wendell Davis and, and Ronnie Morris. They're all just B receivers. They got a bunch of, of average receivers on their team. So we got uh, Ronnie Morris. 23 is a CG. We're going to make this a CS. All right, Tom Zach to Morris. Oh, 52. Is he going to scramble? Third, 26. Yes, he is. Tom Zach's going to take it off himself and try to run. Our defense was CG. <laughs> That's a case of rolling a really good 
pass play defense for the offense, but then when the quarterback takes off to run, it's now a run defense, which is going to hurt him. So Tom's at 61. That's a 25. That's a zero. It's not out of bounds. So that's going to make it fourth and eight. So many out of bounds plays in this quarter. Fourth and eight. We're going to come in for a 28 yard field goal by Kevin Butler. 31 should be good. 19. I'm pretty sure 19 is good because I think I just rolled a 19 for Rich Carlos. Yep, it is good. And that's going to give the Bears, they're going to get that field goal back that Denver or that uh, Minnesota just got. Uh, field goal. Kevin Butler. 28 is good. And we're right where we were, are when the half started with Bears having a 13 point lead. Let's kick off. Kevin Butler. Oh, an 11. That's going to be a really good kickoff. That's a 25. I think it's a touchback. Yep, it is. So he gets a touchback out of it. So let's see. Butler, I'm just going to put 75. He kicks it out of the back of the end zone. It's going to be Minnesota first and 10 now on the 20-yard line. Tommy Kramer's still in the game. And we are going to go standard offense. I got to go. I do have to go more passes, though, just because their running backs aren't very good. So we got an outside run. Uh, let's see. Oops. All right, outside run, and we're gonna have to roll forty-five or higher. Right? Oh, forty-four or higher, because again, eleven through forty-three is is Rick Fenny, but he's out. So we didn't, and I that was not. I think that was a. 31. It might have been a 21. I think it was a 31. So let's just keep rolling here. All right, 66. 66 is going to be Jesse. Not the song. Uh, Clark, and he is a fullback too, running an outside run. That's not a good recipe for success. But a 22 to 4. Hey, he's going to get 9 yards. Wow. I didn't see that coming. All right, Jesse Clark. It's not a good recipe for success, but a 22 is a rest, good recipe for success. Second down and one now on the 29. Let's go. I know I said I'm going to call more short passes, but let's go with our short yardage offense here. Maybe try a play action pass if a 17 through 20 comes up. Oh, 13. That's going to be an outside run. Oh, lots and low, low numbers. And that's an 11 on the defense again. Let's keep rolling here. 21. 52. There we go. 52 is who? That is Alf, Big Alf Anderson, fullback, outside. Again, not a great recipe for success, especially against a BG. But he only needs one, so here we go. Oh, 66 for Big Alf. Sadly, it's a four. So a 66 for a fullback on an outside run is going to net you three yards. It's a first down, but it's a completely an utter wasted play. For Rick Fenny, that was a 15. Yeah, for Rick Fenny, it was only 11 yards, but there, this is not a good offense. No wonder they traded for Herschel Walker. So who was our fullback here? Alf, Big Alf Anderson. Three yards. That's going to be a first down on a 66. Oh, that's so sad. But we keep rolling here. First and 10 now on the 32 for Minnesota. Let's go short pass heavy here. And we're going to go with a 10 short pass. Get Tommy Kramer back in this game. Oh, lots of twos. Whoops. 42 is a CS. We're going to make it a CD. And 22 is Hassan Jones. He's an A. So we'll move it to BD. Kramer, 62, 18. Incomplete. Second down and 10. So many 15 second plays in this quarter. All right, let's go back to standard offense here. 
eight. Outside run. Fifty one. Is that going to be Alf? Yes, it is. Sixty four. Sixty four is a CS. I definitely in the third week, I have, I have four more games left after this in week two. In the third week, I'm definitely going to have a rule where if a fullback is is uh, called for an outside run, I'm going to change it to an inside run because I don't think in real life you're really giving your fullback around the end trying to hit the hole type thing so i think that's a rule i'm going to make um it'll probably put a little bit more offense into the game not much but a little more offense in the game but like right now we've got alfred anderson a fullback two going around the outside that 66 was a four again that's four yards if he were to get a 66 right now so it's tough for fullbacks to actually go around the outside and run but let's keep going here oh an 11 and it's a four jesus and it's going to be four yards. So they've gotten a 66 to get him three yards and an 11 to get him four yards. What is that? Let's see what that is for an inside run. I'm curious now. Yeah, it's, it's not huge, but it's definitely double digits. You know, 10, 11, 12, 13 yards, things like that. So that's definitely a rule change I'm going to make once I get to week three and I can do it for everybody. All right, third and six. Let's go short pass heavy here. And it is a short pass. This quarter's actually going quick. I'm only recording for 24 minutes. Usually a quarter takes me an hour. I wonder why. That's very strange. All right, uh, short pass. That is really strange. Oh, I stopped earlier. That's why. I stopped to let the dog out after like 20 minutes. Okay, I feel better now. All right, short pass. Another, oh, these numbers are just coming up like crazy. Doubles again here. And it's a low scoring game. I'm getting doubles like crazy with these dice, but not, not these ones. I need doubles here. Okay, 66 is going to be uh, Leo Lewis. He's a C. He's also our kick return, our punt returner. 22 defense is BD. We're going to make it CD. And now we got Kramer to Leo Lewis. 24 is 16. And that is very much incomplete. And that will bring up fourth down. And we have another punt coming. Yippee. Who we got? Bucky. Bucky. Actually, this is Bucky's first punt of the second uh, second half, third quarter. So that's something, I guess. 61 for Bucky. 10. And he's going to kick it 42 yards. Good kick for Bucky. And it's going to be Taken at the 22 yard line by Mark Green. 56 for Mark Green. Is that a fair catch? It is a fair catch. 27. 27 is always a fair catch. So punt return. Mark Green. Fair catch. Now the Bears have the ball back. First and 10 on their own. 22. 415 to go. And we're going to go standard offense for the Bears. Up two touchdowns in this game. Seven is an outside run. Big numbers coming out. 65. 36 is going to be Neil Anderson. 65 is a BS. Neil Anderson, 35, 17. He's going to pick up nine yards and get out of bounds. Run, Anderson, nine. Another 15-second play. So many plays in this quarter. I wonder if I can look up the number of plays per quarter in the box score. I'm going to have to look and see after this, uh, after I get done here. Second and one on the, on the 31 now. If it was Bernie Kozar, he would 
line up to run. He would audible to a deep pass, and he would throw it deep, and the Browns would score, and they'd win the Super Bowl. Yay! That's how I used to think when I was a kid. Uh, so we're going to go short yardage here. And it's going to be an inside run. All right, 36 is BS. And 16 is Neil Anderson. 56 for Neil, 24. Oh, he's going to pick up three yards and get a first down. All right, three and a half to go. And it's going to be first down. Let's go back to standard offense. And that's going to be an outside run. Forty-five. That's Neil Anderson again. Boy, he got every carry for the Bears in this quarter. Every carry and so many of the uh, targets. Thirty-one is a CS. So Anderson again. Forty-five this time. Forty-five is a twenty-two. Ooh. And he's gonna get zero yards, man. When you get a five as your white die, you generally get something. But he's gonna get zero. All right, second and 10. Let's go standard offense again. And it's going to be an inside run. See, there's those run plays coming back. And that's going to be Neil Anderson again. 16 is an AS. Anderson up the middle. Oh, 23. Bad roll. 29. Oh, really bad. He's going to lose two yards on the play. His, his rushing stats have got to be hideous. I think he's had two nine-yard runs in this quarter, but it's been really bad other than that. All right, third and 12. We're going to go medium pass heavy here. Two is a short pass. God, Luke Skywalker was so whiny. Jesus. 25, 21, 21 is Brad Muster on a short pass. He's a B, 25 is an A, D, so we will make it an AD. All right, Tom's act the Muster. Oh, another 23, oh man. Oh, he's going to scramble. 21, it's a 25. So that's going to be a zero yard run and they're going to have to bring out Maury Buford again to punt. So many punts in this game. 46 for Buford is a 14. It's a terrible punt. 31 yards. It's going to be taken by our TB, who in this case is Leo Lewis. He's our TA TB. Yeah, that's a terrible punt. 31 yards. And Leo Lewis is going to return it. Or is he? 61 is a 24. And he's going to get hit right where he stands. And not gain a single yard. That's going to put 145 on the clock in the third quarter. Let's play out Minnesota's drive. See what happens. Maybe they can get a touchdown. Probably not. We're going to go short pass heavy here. We're going to do a lot of passing on this drive. We can't risk having to run the ball with these terrible running backs. All right. So that's going to be a medium pass. Twenty-three, and there's your doubles for defense again. Thirty-three. That's going to be a BD. 
23 is is that Hassan Jones no it's Herschel Walker so let's re-roll 46 oh that's Anthony Carter he's an A let's make it an AD Kramer to Carter 42 9 oh it's gonna be good for three yards Little dump off on a medium pass for three yards. Kramer to Carter. Anthony Carter has been his favorite target since he came into the game. All right. Second down and seven. Stick with the short pass. And let's throw a medium pass. Will it be Anthony Carter? That's the question. No, oh, no, not this time. Defense is going to be an AD. 61. That's going to be Big Alf Anderson. He's a C on medium passes. We're going to move it back to BD. So now we got Kramer to Big Alf. 51 for Tommy. That's an eight. That's going to be good for seven yards. So two medium pass completions, 10 total yards. But you know what? It's a first down. All right, first and 10 now on their own 47. So like good field position for this drive. Let's go standard offense here. Oh, oh, dog saw something out, out there. It's all excited. It's going to be an outside run. All right, so let's see who's going to run the ball. In fact, let's get the defense first. 43 is the defense. Where'd you go, three? I saw you. Stop trying to hide. There you are. All right, let's give me a running back here. Uh, 31 ain't going to work. We need a higher number than we need 44 or higher. There we go, 51. It's Big Alf Anderson. And 43 is BD. So Big Alf. 64, 10. <laughs> One yard and out of bounds. Yeah, I definitely got to make that rule for the, for week three. Definitely. Outside run for fullbacks just not working. All right, 30 seconds to go. This could be the last play. Second nine, let's go short pass heavy. And it's a two, so it's a short pass. Fifty four is an A G. Oh, that's a really good deep. That's a bad defense to be in. It you know the offense is liking that A G. Sixty five is going to push it back. That's Jim Gustafson. He's a C. And yeah, we're going to move it to B S because I also called short pass heavy there. So it's going to be a B S now. It's going to be Kramer to Gustafson. Twenty four sixteen. That's going to be incomplete. Kramer to Jim Gustafson. All right, we still got a play left in this quarter, third quarter. This will be the final play. And we're going to go, we're going to go short pass heavy again. Oh, that's a medium pass. Thirty-four on the defense is an A G. We're gonna call it an A S. Forty-four is Anthony Carter, so we're gonna keep it at A S. So we got Kramer to Carter. Fifty-six though is not good. Eighteen, and that will be incomplete. Oh man, another punt. Kramer to Carter, incomplete. That'll be the end of the third quarter. Let's go ahead and punt. Bucky Scribner, 15. 15 is a six. Six is pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's 40. Am I in the fourth quarter? Yeah, it's 40. 48. Oh, wow, that's going to be right at the goal line. So it's a punt. And it's Kramer. And I'm going to call a touchback here. I'm going to let, let him just let it bounce here. So Kramer, this is going to be uh, 
Oh, no, that's a 52 yard. Okay, so this is going to be taken at the four yard. Then, oh, we get to do the bounce rule. I don't remember how to do it. 48. So let's make it up as we go. So it's going to be a 48 yard punt. It's at the four yard line. So we're going to let it bounce. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll one die. Red means it goes towards the end zone. I'm sorry, not red. Odd means it's, it's red. It would always be red. Odd means it goes towards the end zone. Even means it goes the other way. And it is odd. So it's going to be toward the end zone. So now let's roll both dice. Um, and both dice. I mean, it's going to be a touchback, but that's okay. So whatever number I roll means it goes that many yards toward the end zone. And I rolled a six. So that's going to go two yards into the end zone. And it's going to be a touchback. So let's see if I can figure out. Boom. And it rolls six yards away so i want it to go minus six i think minus six is what i'm looking for here yep and it's gonna be 15 seconds off the clock let's see what happens here let me mark green punt so it should be first down 20 which it is all right first and 10 on the 20 now 14 45 to go let's run the bears offense here and just see what happens so we're gonna go standard offense it's gonna be an inside run Gonna be Neil Anderson. Uh, Fifty-three is a CS. Now the fourth quarter. Forty-three for Neil Anderson is a thirty-two. It's gonna be three yards, but we do have an injury on the play. So run. Anderson for three. We do have an injury, and it is on the offense. Five. Where are you at, injury? Jeez. There it is. Five is who? That is our 03. That is our left guard. Uh, that's going to be Big Tom Thayer. He's a good player, although he's a three this year. I think in the 86 Bears, the 85 Bears, he's pretty good. He's a three. So do we have anybody to replace him? Where are my offensive linemen at? So we got Wojcikowski, Jerry Fontenot, Keith Van Horn. He's a tackle. Oh, he's a starter. So these are my starters. We do not have anybody. We have a two that we can put in. So let's get him out of here. Tommy Thayer. And now we've got a new one. So this is going to make them a plus four. Wow. Wait a minute. Let's check the, check the J number. He's a J zero. He can only miss one play. Six. And yeah, he's out for just one play. So they're going to be a plus four for one play. And then Thayer. Come here, come here. Stupid card. So just one play, they're going to be a plus four back here. I'll refer to it back there hanging up behind me here. So. Second seven, let's go with a standard offense. It's an inside run. Twenty two is surprise, Neil Anderson. Sixty five. Yeah, sixty five is a BS. So Neil Anderson up the middle. 21, 24. He's going to pick up one yard. That's going to make it third and six. So we're going to go short pass heavy here. 11, back to plus three now. Oh, you know what though? This guy does come back. 
So this will be when the Bears come back. So this guy will come back in the game and play linebacker. And they are going to go to a minus two. I got If I don't do that now, I'll forget it. They're back to minus two. So they're back to full strength now. And we called. I don't remember if I rolled anything. All right, third and six. We're going to go short pass heavy. And it's going to be a medium pass. Tom Zach. It's all falling apart here, people. This game is, this particular game here, this Bears-Viking game, is starting to get to me. It's probably the most boring game I've ever played. So, 34 is who? It is James Thornton. He's a C. 42 is a CS. We're going to make it a CD. Make it really, really hard to complete a pass. 63, 32, we have an incompletion with yet another injury. I'm tired of penalties, and I'm tired of injuries, and I'm tired of punting. Holy cow, what's the injury? It's on the offense. It's an eight. I always roll six, seven, or eight for these stinking injuries. It's never anybody fun. Well, I guess Rick Fenny was kind of fun. Eight is 011. Oh, it's going to be Neil Anderson, the guy who carries every stinking play. He's a J1. So the best he can do is miss the rest of the game. 50, oh, seven. Remainder of quarter, but. He's got that little arrow by his name. What does that mean again? The little dagger. He's unable to perform for the term of the injury. If there's a dagger, he may return after missing one play, but his rating is decreased by two points for every position on his card during the span of the injury. So I can leave him in and just make him a two, which I think I'm going to do because all their running backs are twos anyway. And that's going to make Minnesota's defense go to plus five. So Minnesota's defense is going to jump to a plus five now. Neil Anderson has the miss one play, but they're going to punt anyway. So it's going to be Maury Buford punting. Sixty-five. Sixty-five is twelve. That's going to go forty-two yards. Punt. Forty-two. It's going to be taken by Leo Lewis at the 34-yard line. 41 for Leo Lewis is a fair catch. Way to make it exciting, Leo. And I'm going to call it a video for now. I'm going to save this game, go in the other room, bang my head against the wall, and then sit down and watch the end of the Empire Strikes Back. Have a good, uh, ha thanks for watching everyone. I know I made it seem appealing to keep watching, but uh, I'll be back with the next one. I doubt it's going to be the fourth quarter of this game. It'll probably be the next game uh, later on in the week. Have a great night, everyone.